Welcome to Johannesburg, South Africa. There are top-rated attractions and places to visit in Johannesburg. Johannesburg, also known as Joburg, Josie, and Egoli, the city of gold, is a financial and industrial hub of South Africa that was founded on a long history of gold mining. The city is quickly changing from an edgy safari stopover to a vibrant hub for arts and culture, with cutting-edge contemporary galleries and the new Mabinine Precinct now ranking among the city's top attractions. Number 1. The Apat Hate Museum This museum is located in Johannesburg, South Africa, and it illustrates Apart Hate and the 20th century history of South Africa. The museum, part of the Gold Reef City Complex, was opened in November 2001. At least five times a year, events are held at the museum to celebrate the end of apart hate and the start of multiracial democracy for the people of South Africa. Number 2. Gold Reef City Gold Reef City is an amusement park in Johannesburg, South Africa. Located on an old gold mine that closed in 1971, the park is themed around the gold rush that started in 1886 on the Witwatersrand, and the buildings in the park are designed to mimic the same period. There is a museum dedicated to gold mining on the grounds, where it is possible to see a gold-containing ore vein and see how gold is poured into barrels. And multiple shops can be located around the park. There are many attractions at Gold Reef City, including water rides, roller coasters, and the famous Gold Reef City Casino. Gold Reef City is located to the south of the Central Business District off of the M1. It is also the site of the Apart Hate Museum. Number 3. The Constitution Hill Precinct The Constitutional Hill Precinct is located at 11 Coates Street in Bromfontein, Johannesburg, near the western end of the suburb of Hillbro. Constitution Hill is the seat of the Constitutional Court of South Africa. Number 4. The Cradle of Humankind the Cradle of Humankind is a paleoanthropological site located about 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg, South Africa. Declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1999, the site is home to the largest concentration of human ancestor remains anywhere in the world. The site currently occupies 47,000 hectares and contains a complex system of limestone caves. The registered name of the site on the list of World Heritage Sites is Fossil Hominid Sites of South Africa. According to the South African Journal of Science, Bolt's Farm is the place where the earliest primate was discovered. Bolt's Farm was heavily mined for Speleothem in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Number 5. The Nelson Mandela National Museum The Nelson Mandela House, commonly referred to as Mandela House, is the house on Vilakazi Street. Orlando West, Soweto, South Africa, where Nelson Mandela lived from 1946 to 1962. It is located at 8,115 at the corner of Vilakazi and Gakin Streets, a short distance up the road from Tutu House, the home of Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. Mandela donated the house to the Soweto Heritage Trust on September 1, 1997, to be run as a museum. It was declared a National Heritage Site in 1999. Number 6. The Johannesburg Zoo The Johannesburg Zoo is a 55-hectare zoo in Johannesburg, South Africa. The zoo is dedicated to the accommodation, enrichment, husbandry, and medical care of wild animals and houses about 2,000 individuals of 320 species. Established in 1904, it has traditionally been owned and operated by the Johannesburg City Council. However, it has been turned into a corporation and registered as a Section 21 nonprofit organization. Number 7. The Hector Peterson Museum The Hector Peterson Museum is a large museum located in Orlando West, Soweto, South Africa, two blocks from where Hector Peterson was shot and killed on June 16, 1976. The museum is named in his honor and covers the events of the anti-apartheid Soweto uprising, where more than 170 protesting school children were killed. The museum features films, newspapers, personal accounts, and photographs, the most famous being the iconic photo by Sam Zima. The Hector Peterson Museum became one of the first museums in Soweto when it opened on June 16, 2002. Number 8. Monte Cassino Monte Cassino popularly shortened to Monte, is a leisure and casino complex in Four Ways, Santon, South Africa. It was designed by the American company Creative Kingdom Inc. 
and built by South African architects Bentel Associates International at a cost of our $1.6 billion. Montecassino first opened its doors on November 30, 2000, and it currently attracts over 9.3 million visitors annually. It is themed after Monte Cassino and has been designed to replicate an ancient Tuscan village. The main casino building has a fake sky painted on the ceiling, inside, going from light on one side to dark on the other. Monte Cassino is owned by Tsogo Sun. Tsogo Sun is a partnership between Southern Sun and Tsogo Investments. Sogo Investments is a black empowerment group, and the hotel component of Tsogo Sun's casinos is developed and managed by Southern Sun. Sogo Sun holds the casino license for Monte Cassino. Number 9. Orlando Power Station. Orlando Power Station is a decommissioned coal-fired power tower in Soweto, South Africa, known as Soweto Towers. The power station was commissioned at the end of the Second World War and served Johannesburg for over 50 years. Today, the Soweto Towers are privately owned and managed by Nico Miberg, who has 20 years of bungee and extreme sports experience. The Soweto Tower features adventures like bungee jumping, straight jacket bungee, scot free fall, climbing, and base jumping, and it also has a 360 degree view of Soweto from the top viewing platform. Number 10. The Johannesburg Botanical Garden. The Johannesburg Botanical Garden is located in the suburb of Emerentio in Johannesburg, South Africa. The gardens grew out of a large rose garden that was established in 1964 and subsequently expanded in 1969 to cover an area of around 125 hectares. It is administered by Johannesburg City Parks. The Emma Rentia Dam is situated immediately to the east of the garden and shares its extensive acreage. One of the main attractions is the Rose Garden, with over 10 zero roses. Number 11. The Playground Market. The playground is a considered space playing host to a regular artisan market every Saturday with a menu of gourmet street food, cocktails, live music performances, and DJs. Coming soon, Sunday will play host to live music performances and events. This is not just a market space, it is as focused on the visitor experience as it is on creating a platform for exceptional young talent in Johannesburg. Number 12. Mabinin Precinct Mabining is a golden child amongst Joburg's regeneration stories and was transformed from an industrial and factory district to a buzzing lifestyle playground. The development of the Mabining precinct began in 2009, and after more than a decade, this colorful, youthful neighborhood has cemented its place as a popular Joburg visitor attraction in its own right. Thank you and we hope you have enjoyed touring Johannesburg with us today. For more information on your next travel destination, Please don't forget to like, share, comment and hit subscribe to our channel.